Now novices chase over three miles and half a furlong and charging down towards the first of 20. Mr Mulligan on the far side has cleared at first and they're all over the first OK. A mistake at the rear of the field there by To The Woods as they charge down towards the second. Mr Mulligan it is who shows the way from on the near side Ubu Vell. Samalian Fairway, Ubu Vell made a mistake on the near side. Uh, Bond Jr. is right up there and so too is Major Summit as they continue their journey down towards fence number three and uh, this is an open ditch coming up and Mr Mulligan is who's uh, is tearing off in the lead by two lengths to Major Summit as they clear that one and third is Bond Jr. back in the field Lord Galeen hit that one very hard up in about uh, fourth position, Sermelian Fairway, the outside, Ubu Bell there in the pink jacket on the near side as they head now towards the water. It's Mr Mulligan who shows the way, clears it well from Major Summit. Oh, and Bond Jr. just slipped on the landing side there, dropped back a place, passed by Sermelian Fairway. Lord Galeen getting up on the inside there of Go Ballistic as they race now into uh, Swinley Bottom. Further back in the field then is Lord Galeen on the inside from Northern Lad, a gap to Peatswood and to the woods at the rear of the field. The leader here is Mr Mulligan, coming out of Swindley Bottom the first time. The big white face, very uh, prominent there in the centre of the screen, leads by four or five lengths as he clears number five in grand style from Major Summit in the yellow jacket. Two or three away then in third placing, Surveillant Fairway, the white cap, followed by Ubu Bell, then follows Bond Jr. And he took a little bit of a guess at that one, the leader. Got away with it OK, and they've all cleared it well. Heading up now towards the second of the ditches, which is number seven, and it's uh, Mr Mulligan who comes to it now, just brushes through the top of it by four or five lengths to its second placing. Is Major Summit, Sermelian Fairway in third from Ubu Bell on the left in the pink jacket, then Bond Jr. from Go Ballistic, Northern Lad. Further back is to the woods in company there with uh, Lord Galeen as they clear that one, and Peatswood is last of all as they race up now towards the home turn the first time in this Reynolds Town Novices chase, and they've got two miles to travel. And so far, Mr Mulligan, Richard Johnson has made every yard, leads by four or five lengths to in second placing Major Summit. In third is Sermelian Fairway with the white cap the outside and then on the outside and next in about fourth position as they clear that one is Bond Jr. that was number nine further back is Ubu Bell the inside from Northern Lad then go ballistic behind them as they travel up the home straight Lord Galena is further back followed by to the woods and a gap to Peatswood heading now towards number 10 and it's Mr Mulligan who comes to it now he steadies he just brushed through the top of that one once again but got away with it lands about four five lengths in front of Major Summit three away then in third is Sermelian Fairway followed by Northern Lad next in the field then Lord Galeen is starting to make a place or two with Bond Jr out wide go Ballistic two lengths away Ubu Vell followed next by To The Woods and four or five and then to Peatswood who whips them in as they charge past the judge now swinging right handed and racing down the side of the course once more. Back where they started, and Mr Mulligan, Richard Johnson, out in front there, he's striding out nicely, he's made every yard of the running so far, and he charges down now to what'll be fence number 11, and he's a good five, six lengths in front of Major Summit. He comes to it now, Mr Mulligan, he steadies, he has a good look, he takes off, and he jumps it well from Major Summit in second, then in third is Northern Lad, followed by Sermelian Fairway. Next on the in the centre is Lord Galeen, running a good race from Bond Jr. A gap to go ballistic from Ubu Bell. Further back is to the woods as they come to the next one. The leader cleared it well. Uh, further back in the field, Ubu Bell, followed by to the woods, and Peatswood is tailed almost off. As they head down now towards the next of the ditches, this is number 13, and Mr Mulligan out in front, leads comfortably by a good four or five lengths as he draws to it now he took off and landed over it in the lead from Sermelian Fairway then Major Summit behind them followed by Lord Galeen then Northern Lad the outside and further back is Bond Jr and uh, Peatswood has refused at the rear of the field Heading down now towards the water, the final time, and Mr Mulligan, he's set a hectic pace throughout. Now they're starting to chase. These by four lengths, two in second placing, Sermelian Fairway. Then Major Summit, the outside. Three away, then is Northern Lad. Bond Jr., the outside. Lord Galeen's called it a day. Dropping back now, and about to be passed on the outside by Go Ballistic. 
as they race out of Swindley Bottom now and they've got six fences left to jump in the Reynolds Town Chase and the leader here is Mr Mulligan he's bold, he's uh, striding out nicely leads by a comfortable four lengths as he comes to six out now he takes off once again he brushed through the top of it slight mistake by Major Summit in third placing but it's still Mr Mulligan he's pulled the stick on the uh, Somalian Fairway in second from Major Summit as they come to the next one now Mr Mulligan again brushed through it so too did Major Summit slight mistake there by Bond Jr back in the field coming now towards the last of the ditches and this is four out and coming to it that's uh, Mr Mulligan put in an extravagant leap there lands about four or five six legs in front now of Somalian Fairway further back then is Major Summit from Northern Ladder gap to go ballistic three out and it's Mr Mulligan he's getting a bit weary went through the top of that brushed uh, through it but got away with it once again lands eight lengths in front of Major Summit who's running on well then follows Northern Ladder on the near side as they round the home turn with two fences left to jump in the rattles down and Mr Mulligan has gone further ahead he's 15 lengths in front with two to jump Mr Mulligan straightens up he's a street in front as he comes towards the second last now Mr Mulligan takes off jumps it okay getting a bit tired but he's still 12 lengths in front of Major Summit followed by Northern Lad Somalian Fairway has fallen and brought down Go Ballistic coming up towards the last though and it's Mr Mulligan who has literally run them off their legs he's only got to jump the last to win he's 10 lengths in front he's steady he's coming to it takes off lands safely and Mr Mulligan is home for all money going into second placing then Northern Lad followed by Major Summit but up the line Mr Mulligan has made every yard to win the Reynolds Town Novices Chase a great win goes on to win by the best part of 12 lengths in second placing Northern Lad third then Major Summit uh, going to be a good battle for fourth here. Ubu Val flashing home on the far side might just get up to take fourth. Just ahead there of Lord Galeen, further back to the woods. And they're the only finishers looking back down the track there. Just walking between jumps there is uh, Bond Jr. who's been pulled up. The winner is uh, Mr Mulligan, a nine to four favourite. Uh, backed in from threes, a lot of confident money and uh, he has uh, carried that confidence to victory his fifth consecutive win of the season. Owned by Mr. M. Worcester, trained by Noel Chance, ridden by Richard Johnson, the winner number one, Mr. Mulligan. Second is number seven, Northern Lad, owned by Jay Shaw, trained by Jenny Pittman, ridden by Warren Marston. Third, number two, Major Summit, owned by A.D. Weller, trained by Josh Gifford, ridden by Philip Hyde. And, uh, and Ubu Val, it might be, who just got up to uh, take fourth uh, right on the line. But the winner from Lord Galeen. But the winner there on the screen is Mr. Mulligan. He now gets a quote of seven to four favourite from Ladbrokes for the Sun Alliance chase at Cheltenham from seven to one. And uh, he has.